This is the entrance to Bahia del Sol in El Salvador. What you see there is a guide ponga and a sailboat that somehow um, is lying on its side in the surf. This apparently went down about half an hour ago. I believe all the people on board are rescued. I'm not sure exactly what happened here, but uh, yeah, the, the mast of that boat is completely underwater. Man, looks like it's probably a total loss. Let me show you this. My name is Rick. I got my sea legs when I was in the Coast Guard and I commanded a boat much like this one. Today, I take my small sailboat on coastal passages in search of adventure. In this season, I'm heading south from Banderas Bay with the intention of returning to the Caribbean Sea via the Panama Canal. Living the pirate life. Yeah, me and these pelicans. Hello, Leapers. My name is Rick, and I'm still in Bahia del Sol, El Salvador. I've been here for a while now, primarily because I've been studying these Papagayo winds, trying to strategize a way to get down to Costa Rica and get through these winds with this, this small boat that I'm sailing. And also, I've been studying this bar. These waves are pretty serious, so I've actually... Uh, ridden with the panga a couple times and you know if you're following the channel you know that I've I've videoed both of those trips out to the bar as we've escorted vessels in and out of the bar Bill and I yesterday uh, Bill brought in three vessels he was going to bring in three vessels he got uh, two of them in and the third one was lost good morning all right, well, it's the next morning after the rum truffle incident in the bar in El Salvador here, Bahia del Sol, and I'm hanging out with my friend Brent. We're gonna go and uh, land on the beach as close as we can get uh, safely uh, to this beach, and then uh, hopefully we'll be able to fly the drone. Uh, really depends on how windy it is out there, but we're gonna give it a try. As Brent and I headed out towards the bar, we were definitely aware of a weird sense of sadness mixed with anticipation and uncertainty. We really didn't know what we were going to see, what if we were going to even be able to find the boat. Rum Truffle was a Moody 49, and Moody sailboats, including the Moody 49, are recognized for their innovative design and incorporation of advanced sailing technology. Overall, the Moody 49 has earned its reputation as a versatile and well-crafted sailboat, suitable for sailors looking to explore the seas with a blend of style and functionality. Once we made landfall, we did a quick scan of the surf zone to see if rum truffle was readily visible, but it was not. It was time to launch the drone. Well, here we're looking at the bar at pretty low tide, and you can tell it's no joke. Those shoals are readily visible. You really have to go through with the highest tide and the lowest swell. Oh boy, I think we found rum truffle. As Brent and I made our way along the beach toward rum truffle, we came across some of the debris field. This looks like a piece of rum truffle's canvas dodger. found it. 
There she be. So Brent and I, we're making our way along the beach. We had to anchor the dinghy a little bit better because yeah, it's uh, we can't get any closer with the dinghy. It's too rough. We're gonna walk over here. I'm gonna try to get some drone footage and head back to the dinghy. Uh, that's the primary concern right now. Looks like the locals are over here already on the boat doing a little scavenging. Not surprised. Most of them don't have much around here. So Christmas looks like she rolled all the way over and broke her mast. Mm -hmm. See a rudder sticking up. Oh, she's almost on the beach, dude. Yeah. Yeah, the tide really brought her up. God. Well, we can tell already she don't have no keel anymore. As we got closer, the extent of the damage started becoming really clear. Completely upside down. Wow. Right on the cabin. Keel bolts can be a couple feet long, you know. Here's what happens when you hit the bottom hard enough, enough time. You snap your keel, you got no ballast, you get top heavy, over you go. And that's where she's at. Obviously, you hit the bottom hard enough after the keel snapped off, you took this skeg hung rudder, took it right off too. Had no steerage, it was history. You can't imagine probably the water coming up through the floor and the keel bolts. Amazing it made it this far. How far do you think that overnight it probably it probably got pushed around? Yeah, during the high tide, being upside down, had enough flotation, came and brought it all the way in. How many how many yards do you think that is? Maybe a quarter mile? Yeah, about four three, four hundred yards there, probably from where it hit. Crazy. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. Oh, yeah. He's got to have one. This is my invention. That's nice. Put a whale on your, in your dinghy. Yeah. Beats getting a bucket out and scooping everything. You bet. Especially when you're in the tropics, you're going to get, you know, especially rainy season. All the time. Every day you're going to go out and be, you know, shin deep in water in your dinghy. So you might as well have a pump. I love that, man. Yeah. It's, uh, wow, man, what a trip, huh? It's crazy. So Brent and I began making our way back to the Bahia del Sol Marina in kind of a 
introspective, somber mood. I think we're just now starting to internalize and process what we saw. Real-time updates, check out Sailing Frog's Leap on Instagram. <laughs>